Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do another dinner, but this time we're gonna do it in the district of Sinjuku. Now we haven't decided what we're gonna eat. When we get there, we'll figure it out, bring you guys along and share with you my experience. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Yes, so we discovered a very interesting area full of restaurants. Bring you guys along, share you our experience, and then we'll figure out what to eat. Let's go. Here is the street that is full of restaurants. If you guys can tell me in the description below what street this is, I would love to know. But I'm here to basically share with you what life is at night time because in Vancouver we don't have a night life okay there's no nightlife district but here in Japan at night time everything is lit up all right we're gonna figure out what to eat and then we'll share with you our experience so after walking around for a bit and checking out each restaurant we weren't able to decide which restaurant to eat at since there was always a lineup. So we decided to stick with what we know best and look for a ramen shop. We found a few ramen shop, but we ended up picking a ramen shop that was the most affordable and had the most bang for our buck. So just behind me is a ramen shop that we're looking to eat at. I'll bring you guys along, let's go. Here is the menu, you guys can have a quick look. Pause the video if you need to. Let's head inside, have a look. Okay, so over here is basically a screen. You can order from the screen. They have all the condiments, water, and forks and knives here. So we're gonna order right now. Quite an interesting way of ordering. You gotta order through their menu right on top, which is exactly what we did. So now we're just waiting for our food. So just before I go any further, I just want to quickly show you the layout of this restaurant. It is super small with a few chairs on the first floor that can possibly fit about four people. But they do have more seating on the second floor as you can see. Okay, so this is the ramen. How's the broth? you like it? He said the broth is amazing. Let me try this one out for you guys. So it looks milky. Mmm, pork, pork flavor. The noodle is actually quite fresh, right? Oh, okay. I'm gonna show you guys how the noodle looks like. Mmm, <clears throat> it's like so chewy. It's like, like really chewy. And thick. Very soothing to your stomach. Sorry guys, we're going cheap this time because previously we went pretty gung ho today. So taking it easy and trying to spend less money. But even though we spent less, the quality of the food is still like up there, right? They do have like condiments as well. I think this is like chili oil yeah add a little bit of chili oil not too much they have like this carrot i'm not sure if it's pickled oh it is put a little bit on top okay, okay. not too much right hopefully and here's their uh, show you okay guys Their shoyu is very thick. Thick pork cut. 
usually when you order ramen, I always try to order with a side dish. The classic side dish for any ramen is gyoza. Fried on one side, steamed on the other. Mm. Here's the karage that my girlfriend ordered. Mm. Okay, I'll take that back. I, I prefer um, karage versus gyoza. For some reason, karage, anything fried is good, right? Mm -hmm. So, my set also came with uh, soy sauce, fried rice. I'm not sure how it tastes like. Yeah. Very flavored soy sauce fried rice. Very interesting. It appears like it's a lot, but it's not that much. Mmm, it's actually good. Yeah, I thought it was like bottomless, deeper, but it's actually just a little bit. I think the combo set is worth it. What do you think? For the price? Alright, we're gonna finish our dish. So how's your ramen experience? How would you rate it out of ten? Oh wow. I think nine. Nine? You like it you like it that much? Oh, yeah. Eight? Eight? Eight, nine. You, you gave it a nine, so you stick with nine. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10 that's a nice ramen experience the portion size is perfect the price is re reasonable right yes. overall it was a good experience I like it very much I would definitely come back for another round of ramen there if I ever come back to Japan right yes. all right see you guys